Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install a uh, program that's actually going to put the start button back on the bottom left corner of your screen. Now as you know with Windows 8 there is no start menu any longer. That is one of the things they took away. Now at this point, at the time of this recording, Windows 8.1 has not released yet. Uh, but when it does release I will show you guys how to update your Windows 8, how to upgrade it from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 that will have a start menu included. Uh, but you may not even like the the way the new start menu looks. I've seen some uh, examples of it. It doesn't really have the feel of the old start menu. So I'm going to show you a quick way to uh, download a, uh, a program that will bring it back. Now I'm just going to use Firefox, my web browser. Go ahead and do a left click. Now I am I am in my desktop view. Remember, you can toggle back and forth by going down here in the bottom left. That's the start menu. Let's go back and uh, click on the desktop tile, or you can go all the way to the top uh, left corner. Go back to the desktop view desktop mode and let's bring up our browser and up here in the uh, address bar let's go ahead and in our URL or type in our URL which is www.cnet.com go ahead and hit enter now it's going to bring us to uh, the CNET website which is a very uh, reputable website and under here under download go ahead and click on Windows software and where it says find software here on the left side of the screen, let's go ahead and type in start menu 8 and click search. And once it takes us to this new page, the software that we want to download is this specific one here. We're going to scroll down a little bit down our page where it says start menu 8, do a left click. And this gives a description of what the uh, software is that we're going to download. Um, if you want to read it, great, but I'm not going to. Uh, at this point, I've already read through it. Go ahead and click the big uh, green button here, Download Now. Do a left click. And what that's going to do is allow me to go ahead and save file. I'm in under uh, the Firefox web browser. You may see Run. If you see Run or Save under Internet Explorer, just go ahead and hit Run. And it's a Download Complete. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go under the uh, Downloads. And here's the executable file, so go ahead and do a left click and say yes under user account control. I'll go ahead and close my web browser. And you'll see this little uh, window come up, the installation wizard. So let's go ahead and click next. And if you want to read through all the uh, license agreement, go ahead, have fun. Just click accept. And you can tell it where to install. By default, it's, it's normally going to put it under your C drive program files, blah, blah, blah. It's going to make a whole new folder for it. Just go ahead and click next going to go through the installation of the button and as you can see down here I have a start button now under here uh, this is your option if you want to do this and like I said this installing the start button is completely optional it's up to you but it says install advanced advanced system care uh, that's up to you if you want to install that I'm just gonna go ahead and un uncheck it I'm not gonna do it um, you know like I said it's up to you I wouldn't but you know that's uh, that's up to you if you want to do it so go ahead and click finish and here it lets us customize our uh, start menu. Uh, it lets us uh, customize the icon that we want to use for the for the start actual start button. I'm just going to leave everything default. You can go ahead and play with all these options here, and hit OK. What I do want to show you though, it did uh, put a shortcut on my desktop. You can delete it if you want. I'll go ahead and do a left click on it, hit delete on my keyboard, get rid of it. I don't want it there. But now I have what looks like the old Windows 7 start button. So let's go ahead and do a left click to look at the options here. As you can see, it looks just like our old start menu, what we were familiar with, what a lot of people like. Um, so we'll just navigate and see, you know, if we go under all programs, it's got everything here set up just like the old start menu did. Um, it's got a neat thing right here where it says where it's called Metro Apps. Uh, where it's going to show you all the apps that were on your uh, start start screen, which used to be called the old Metro screen. But uh, they changed the name, so it's not the start screen. But as you can see, all your apps are here. Uh, you have your documents, pictures, everything, your control panel, all within the start menu. Every, all within everything that you know you're familiar with. So, you know, just play around with the old start menu. Um, you even have your search down here where you can go ahead and type something to search on your computer. Um, let's go ahead and just hit uh, run, and there it is, run. So you can open up things just like you could before with the old start menu. Um, just in case you don't like it, you know, maybe. You didn't like the start menu before, maybe you just like the way Windows 8 not is now, you can go ahead and remove it. So let's go to our control panel. And under programs, click uninstall a program. And it's gonna be called Start Menu 8. And there's the name of the company. When was it when it was installed and everything? Just go ahead and click uninstall here. 
Now it's going to bring up this big screen where make sure to read this as uninstall and then get advanced system care free. So if you click this big green button, it's going to uninstall this program but give you another program. So the, what the option you want to choose is no, I want a full uninstall. So go ahead and click that. And that's just going to remove the uh, start menu from your Windows 8. And it's going to bring up a uh, survey here. Don't want to do it. As you can see, it's gone now. But that's the way to go ahead and to go ahead and bring back that start button that we're all familiar with that you know we had with Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7. So that does conclude this tutorial. I do thank you guys for watching and I appreciate your time.